Whirlwind Wheelchair got started in 1980, and at that time I had been a wheelchair rider and, and designer for 14 years, had been looking for help, um, been visited just about anybody I could find in this country, and a good number in Europe and and uh, Canada, Mexico, looking for people building chairs, designing mm -hmm. chairs, and had not found much. Um, the, the industry had been dominated for decades by one company, mm -hmm. um, and that was pretty much too worldwide. And during the, well, at that time, um, 20 years plus that that you know, monopoly had been in in, in effect, progress had measurably gone backwards, um, but prices went up. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately there wasn't much much happening that, that I could um, take advantage of among other people's research. There was a little bit going on in wheelchair sports, but for everyday, all-purpose, um, full-time wheelchairs, I couldn't find people working on them in a serious way. Um, a few little companies, but those little companies tended to come and go under the under the um, pressure of the monopoly. And in 1980, I visited Nicaragua. Down there, the most of the chairs were throwaway hospital models from the north, and. Um, and there weren't enough of them to go around. I met these four young kids in a rehabilitation center who were sharing one wheelchair. And um, they would, one guy would get the chair each day, usually go clear across Managua to visit a girlfriend, come back God knows at what hour with a broken chair. And they would take that chair then down to the neighborhood me mechanic and um, between the, the group, they would figure out how to fix it and how to reinforce it so it wouldn't break again. And this chair had 20 fractures in the frame that had been repaired, all of them reinforced in a very, very logical way so that they were not going to fail again. And then the other side of the chair, they had reinforced in anticipation of its breakage. And it was clear that they knew more than uh, anybody had met in the Western wheelchair industry. Maybe there were some who knew a lot more than they, they let on, but the effect of their work wasn't showing mm -hmm. much uh, progress. Um, and so it was clear that, that I wanted to work with them. I needed their help. I was riding a fairly high-tech homemade chair at the time, a four-wheel drive model. And um, one of them in particular looked my chair up and down and said, well, that's a really interesting chair, but it's going to break there, there, and there. <laughs> and a few months later, I found out that he was right. Mm 